Oh, yeah. Vegan lemon poppy seed. Got my assistant in the car. I got my vanilla latte. We went to commissary. Yeah, so right now it is Tuesday and I'm about to head over to the Japanese garden. I'm really excited because I haven't been to this place and it, actually you have to make a reservation because of all the COVID restrictions and everything. You have to make a reservation like 10 days in advance and if you wait, it's not guaranteed that you're actually gonna get a ticket. So I actually wanted to go to the garden a couple of weeks ago, but all the tickets were sold out. It was waitlist only and the garden it's all the way out in Van Nuys, so it wasn't like I can do just like a random last minute trip, so. Dad doing his thing. Getting his own personal shots. <laughs> Having fun? Yes. All right, so we just finished up at the garden. It was so nice. There's so many little ducklings everywhere. It was really cute. So I'll leave a link in the description box below so you guys can go check it out as well. So yeah, so I think right now what my dad and I are gonna do, I came with my dad again. He's my um, video assistant over here helping me film everything and capture footage. But now we're gonna go eat lunch because I am starving. So I don't know where we're gonna end up, but I'll take you guys along. cheese danish, guava cheese danish, and an apple strudel, which is this one right here. And then the six potato balls. Friday, uh, I don't know what day it is, but I have a lot of projects that I'm working on right now. So I am about to go to a coffee bean just to get some work done. Sometimes I feel like just getting out of the house and changing my environment is just super helpful for my productivity. Like I just feel like I can get things done faster without all the distractions. And yeah, I don't know. I uh, low key had a mini panic, not panic attack. I had a mini like anxiety attack when I was driving over here though, just because I just have so much going on right now with just some personal stuff, which I'll talk about in a vlog later on. Um, really exciting stuff there. And then I also have my family Vegas trip coming up, which again, all good things. In addition to all that though, I have a bunch of products I have going on and I need to finish them before I leave next what, ne next Thursday. So uh, yeah, it's a little, uh, a little stressful right now. I feel like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like as a content creator, I don't have the right to be stressed, but at the same time, it's like, there's so much that goes into just like creating content all the time. And like, yes, it looks like I'm just like living my best life. And I honestly kind of am, but at the same time, it's just like, you know, I have the same, I have deadlines just like everyone else. And this is my job, you know? So I do have the stressors of like having to hit deadlines, creating all this stuff. It can just be really stressful sometimes, especially because I'm working with a new company that I've never worked with before. So the project that I'm working on, I'm excited about, but I'm a little bit nervous because I've never done something like it before. And I'll talk about it once it's live. And I don't know when this is gonna be live on my channel, so. I don't know if I can talk about it yet, but I'm excited about it because it's definitely like totally in the wheelhouse of like what I want to do. I actually never thought about doing it before. So I just feel like it's one of those things where you just got to keep your eyes and ears open for all the opportunities and you just never know what's going to come your way. Uh, and yes, 
why did I pick up this camera? Oh yeah, so I picked up this camera because I just wanted to take a moment and just talk about how I kind of worked through my minor anxiety attack that I had on the drive here. Just because I don't know if it's gonna be helpful for anyone else out there who also just gets really overwhelmed. I know there's a lot of people out there who do, but just for some background context, I used to get really bad anxiety attacks when I worked in advertising and it's not something that I really talked about when I worked in advertising. I, I feel like it's just because there's like so much pressure, so many quick deadlines, all that stuff. And then I had a lot of stress, let's just say that. And what I did kind of that helped me on my drive here to kind of just slow my heartbeat a little bit and just kind of reel it back in was I just took a moment to just take some really deep breaths and then I also just talked to myself a little bit like I basically just said to myself like girl you know you already mapped out the day you have a plan of attack of how you're going to make it happen and you know just because you're a little behind schedule doesn't mean that it's not gonna work out exactly how it's supposed to. Everything happens for a reason. If you're running a little bit late, maybe there's a reason for it that you aren't even privy to. And, you know, instead of worrying about the how, just know that you're gonna make it freaking happen. You know, like you are going to make it happen. And it's not about controlling the situation always and always needing to stick exactly to a plan. Sometimes you just got to roll with the punches and just go with it and just have faith that it's just going to all work out exactly how it's supposed to. So yes, I basically became my own hype woman. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like when you are internally beating yourself up, you just have to take a moment to just be your own best friend. And so even though it may sound a little nutso for me to just be talking to myself in the car, I just needed my inner best friend, my inner bestie to just tell off my inner nemesis. So I don't know if that even makes sense. I'm kind of on a rant at this point, but I just felt like it was really important to just not only highlight the like highs of being a content creator, but also just to like bring you guys into the fold of just some of the things that just goes on in here, you know, and just, I wouldn't want to call them lows, but just some of the like points in this journey that's not so fun. So now that I've taken some time to just bring you guys up to speed on what's happening today, let's go work on these scripts that I need to finish. Let's go left the cafe and I'm now working at mom's house. Mom brought me some food, some sashimi. I am very lucky that my mom was eating at a sushi place today. <laughs> so yes, I'm just gonna finish up here and then I need to head over to my shoot tonight. I'm with my dad. <laughs> we are headed out to go we are headed out right now. We're gonna go shoot somewhere. I'm not gonna say where yet because I just want the project to go live and then I will talk more about it. But yeah, it is four o'clock right now. It's kind of overcast. Hopefully it clears up a bit because we do need to shoot. I'm drinking a green tea to kind of give me a little energy boost. So pray to the traffic gods, not that much traffic and that it doesn't rain. Okay, cheers guys. <laughs> hey guys, so today is Thursday, May, something today we are going to vegas every year my family well except for the past couple of years just because of covid and everything but typically we have this family trip where we go to vegas we hang out people golf people relax lounge watch movies this year i'm going a bit early i'm going with my mom and randall we're driving in the caravan a little early i haven't seen everyone since i don't remember yeah uh but yeah, so right now Randall is packing the car and that's why you heard him kind of yelling at us because we're looking for the wine. Mom, come here. You look wonderful. Thank you. So my mom is here. Hi. It is 9.30 right now and we are going to head out in probably like five minutes, five, ten minutes. Five minutes. So the plan is we're going to pick up some bento boxes for the road. For those of you guys who don't know, a bento box is basically a box that comes with a, an assortment of different types of dishes. And right now we're picking up from, where are we going? We're going to Auntie's Cafe. One of the owners, Sherry, uh, has been doing this for us for years every time um, we go to Las Vegas. It's um, food on the road. Yes. 
food on the road and that means spam musubis on the road. I'm very excited. I haven't had Hawaiian food in a long time actually, so it'll be good. But yeah, you guys are coming to Vegas with me, so. Oops, sorry, my phone keeps going off. But yeah, all right, let's go. What's in the cooler, Randall? Wine and water. So traffic was so bad on the drive over from LA. I guess there was like some accident with a truck involved and it was just backing up everything. So yeah, just got to the hotel. It is seven o'clock. Uh, I'm feeling very sweaty and gross and just not cute, but it's fine. So uh, right now I think we're just waiting to get our bags to the room. I just want to like jump on one of these beds because I am just so tired, but I'm also very hungry, so after we get our bags, I think we're gonna go grab some food and then, yeah. So blueberry, and then you got the mango, mango jalapeno, mango jalapeno blueberry wine, and a lemon drop. I love that beer. Then beer down there. I think we all deserve this. Cheers. For the longest drive. <laughs> Cheers. Longest yeah. drive ever. Yeah. What'd you get, Randall? I got uh, bacon and eggs. <laughs> I'm a traditionalist. <laughs> <laughs> So today is the uh, first official full day of being in Vegas with my family. So yeah, I came a little bit early with my mom and Randall. So it was nice kind of being able to just get a full nine hours. I think I slept, yeah, nine hours. Slept like a freaking baby in this bed because the drive yesterday was just killer. And then I think just from, you know, you guys have followed my channel long enough to know that my sleep schedule is all over the place. So, oh wait, hold on, my mom's here. <laughs> forgot what I was saying my mom's room is literally next door so her and Randall are going to do I don't know what right now but I had breakfast with the family this morning it was really great to see everyone who's already in but right now I am staying in because I need to work on a couple of projects that are due this week I have something due on Monday and then I have another project due on Tuesday it's my current desk situation situation. Alright, I still have stuff to finish, but I am going to head on over to my aunt and uncle's room to have some pizza. The rest of the family just got in, so I am going to go say hi to everyone. working in my room I have a cappuccino this time and then I had a bagel for breakfast my mom and Randall are golfing along with a bunch of my other family and then the people in my family who aren't golfing are like watching movies hanging out together but I still need to finish this script that I'm working on for a project I'm excited though because tonight we are celebrating the 25th anniversary 25th we're celebrating the anniversary of our family doing this so I'm excited for that because it's gonna be a really nice meal with everyone on the trip and it's over 50 people which is crazy heading to our big family banquet
breakfast at the Randall. That's me. Mm -hmm. And my mom. Oatmeal. Veggie omelets and eggs and bacon. So it is Monday and most of the family has already left but we are still here for an extra day because we didn't want to have to rush and leave early. So I'm trying to figure out right now what we're going to do for the day. I have a little bit of work to do but I think one of the things on the agenda is we're going to do bingo. So yeah. <laughs> We're gonna win a bingo. <laughs> bingo. Last night. So we're gonna play bingo as a family and hopefully someone wins. Why, Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.